Good morning, students. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Is the screen visible to all? Please check. We will start with uh, some time. Who is the CR of your class? I saw the attendance in this class is uh, quite less. Is there any specific reason? Uh, CR, uh, CR, are you there? Utkarsh. I don't think Utkarsh has joined. Uh, Please convey uh, the class representative uh, to talk to me. Okay, any one of you. Well, we will start. Okay, so we were discussing about this numerical and uh, we have covered first numerical and I think you have understood how the uh, design capacity is to be calculated for any bolted connection. We have seen different cases. First one was the lap joint. Second one was the butt joint and in this butt joint only the top portion was covered or either face was covered and uh, sorry the third case was when both the sides were covered. So in all these cases you have understood uh, how is the behavior of the uh, complete connection as such and uh, based on that we have calculated the design capacity of the bolting shear and bearing isn't it now the next uh, numerical which we were discussing was related to this packing plate arrangement okay so this is the problem statement This is a problem statement and in this problem statement you can see that there are uh, actually three different plates I, I mean the dimensions three different dimensions first dimension is 18 mm thick uh, plate which is to be connected with 10 mm thick plate there is a difference of 8 mm because of which there should be uh, some more arrangement which we call it as the packing plate in order to fill that gap. There should not be any kind of gap between any of these things. Okay. So this is the packing plate arrangement which we provide and the dimension as per our calculation, uh, simple calculation, 18 minus 10, 8 mm, uh, that packing arrangement needs need to be provided. This is known as the packing plate arrangement. And now we will be discussing something related to the uh, solution of this numerical. So over here, what we are supposed to do is, uh, we are supposed to, as such design, isn't it? Design in the sense we need to find out how many number of bolts will be required for making this connection. For that, we need to understand the overall behavior of this joint, how it will behave. Uh, based on this packing plate arrangement. Earlier we saw the behavior. We have uh, calculated the uh, VDSP and VDPP values for such kind of arrangement. But over there you, you saw that there was no such additional packing plate arrangement. This is something which is uh, additional. 
and by the virtue of this packing plate as per this clause 10.3.3.3 which says that the design shear capacity of the bolts carrying shear through a packing plate in excess of 6 mm shall be decreased by this factor beta pk which is given by this formula okay beta pk is equal to 1 minus 0.0125 times tpk thickness of the packing plate so based on this i have calculated this value i think this value is correct because it is very simple 1 minus 0.0125 into 8 mm whatever value comes out to be this is beta pk value theek okay? hai now we will go ahead and i need everyone's attention because this is very uh, essential for you people to understand the different terminologies okay fine now see what we are supposed to find we are supposed to find the number of bolts we are now uh, in that stage one step we have gone ahead firstly what we did in the uh, first numerical in that numerical we saw how to calculate the capacity of the bolt okay the strength of the bolt and we have seen i mean what what was the capacity or the strength of the bolt in two parameters that is bearing and uh, shearing these two things now after that the next step is to identify the number of bolts those can be recommended in that given connection so for example we have such kind of connection right and for this connection we are supposed to identify how many number of bolts can be provided now here as you can see in this numerical nothing is given as such that means how many number of bolts the number of bolts are not given second the dimensions of these plates ye bhi nahi diya hua hai how long they are how much should be the uh, overall dimension of the plate nothing is mentioned am i right isn't it that means uh, along with the number of bolts we are also supposed to fix the dimension of the plate so that that complete connection will take the amount of load which is defined how much is the amount of load given factored design load is given as 750 kN so we should be in a position to not only decide the number of bolts for the connection but also the plate dimension so once you know the uh, what you call it as the number of bolts you can definitely uh, decide upon the dimension of the plate let's see how firstly please let me know are you aware of this term factored load factored design load are you aware of this term what it is Mm. yes yeah, so uh, what we do since we are dealing with limit set design method our first and foremost thing is to identify the factored load if it is not given okay so there are two terms that is the working load and second is the factored load in case of factored load what we do we multiply the load by the set uh, the factor of safety which is defined by the is code and for loads for live load unless and until it is mentioned you are supposed to multiply that value by how much uh, amount what is that amount by which we multiply the things it is 1.5 times am i right theek okay. hai so you should be careful uh, uh, if in the problem statement it is mentioned that it is a factored load then no need to multiply else if it is given that it is working load then in that case you are supposed to 
फर्स्टली कन्वर्ट इट इन टू फैक्टर डिजाइन लोड एंड देन डू द फर्दर कैलकुलेशन ठीक है अंडरस्टूड सो नेक्स्ट इज सिंस वी डोंट नो हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ बोल्ट्स आर देयर इन दिस कनेक्शन वी वी एक्चुअली हैव अ प्रैक्टिस टू फाइंड आउट दिस न्यू टर्म व्हिच इज नोन एज पर पिच लेंथ वैल्यू व्हाट इज दिस पर पिच लेंथ just try to understand see the center to center distance between the bolts it is known as pitch theek okay? hai and the uh, length which covers this pitch distance is known as pitch length so ye jo maine shaded portion dikhaya hai are you able to see this yellow shaded portion all of you this thing this is this is the pitch length which is starting from here to ends and it ends over here so this complete patch is the pitch length now this pitch length and whatever and one more thing okay uh, i will highlight this thing this oh sorry ye yellow ye ho gaya hai one minute let me change the color okay ठीक है, सी ये जो येलो कलर मैंने रिप्रेजेंट किया है दिस इज ऑल्सो पिच लेंथ एंड द थिंग विच आई विल नाउ बी ड्रॉइंग दिस विल अगेन बी नोन एज पिच लेंथ ओके फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर एंड दिस पर पिच लेंथ वैल्यू नीड्स टू बी इवेल्युएटेड बिकॉज दिस इज अनोन थिंग and we do the calculation uh, with respect to this per pitch length value or uh, for for example uh, you can consider a beam section in in a beam simply supported beam carrying some kind of load actually that beam is not one dimensional or two dimensional it is three dimensional thing in actual practice what we do we for our simplicity we convert that thing into single dimension and uh, we trans we transfer the load which is coming on to that beam which was actually uh, which was actually covering the complete area of the beam now it will cover only per meter length per unit length distance and based on that we calculate the things similarly over here we are supposed to identify this per pitch length value theek okay? hai so this thing and the yellow colored thing whatever i have marked over here here or here whatever it it was they are one and the same thing okay so can you please tell me uh, if this red color you consider this uh, to be per pitch length can you please let me know how many number of bolts does that per pitch length value uh, will consist of remember this this is the center to center distance okay so ye yes exactly one one number so you have understood this so similarly uh, if i am representing the yellow color demarcation one minute that means from let's say here to here okay it, it covered the other ग्रेट ठीक है एनी वे सो ये जो डिस्टेंस है हाफ फ्रॉम अब एंड हाफ फ्रॉम बिलो दिस विल अगेन कंप्राइज ऑफ दी पर पिच लेंथ डिस्टेंस एंड इन दैट केस यू विल फाइंड दैट वन नंबर ऑफ बोल्ट इज लाइन सो इट इज वन एंड द रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज वन एंड द सेम थिंग और ओवर हियर ऑन द टॉप आई कैन रिप्रेजेंट इट लाइक दिस दिस पोर्शन ठीक है तो ये जो पूरा एक बोल्ट है दिस इज गेटिंग कवर्ड इन दैट पर पिच लेंथ वैल्यू एंड यू कैन से दैट दिस डिस्टेंस इज नथिंग बट योर पिच डिस्टेंस हाफ फ्रॉम द बॉटम एंड हाफ फ्रॉम द टॉप सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस टर्म पर पिच लेंथ ठीक है फाइन सो सी i don't know uh, how many number of bolts um, will be there after calculation it may be three number of bolts it may be eight or 12 or 20 i don't know it will depend on the 
calculation part right so over here what we need to do is we need to anticipate first of all we need to find out the number of bolts which will be required and that value should be per pitch length value i will be explaining you this thing uh, once we go to the next numerical right so strength of the bolt per pitch length in double shear why double shear you must have understood by now that since there are one two three plates uh, rather four one two and three plates on this side and on this side again there are more number of plates but uh, we will not right now consider this part if there are three plates so definitely the complete section will experience double shear effect isn't it it will experience double shearing effect because this packing plate arrangement if you can see that it is a separate uh, arrangement altogether okay this is an additional component which is covering the gap that's it okay it has it has nothing to do with the hole because uh, this packing plate over here and over here these two are different members all together okay so there is no hole formation as such whereas this plate this plate and this plate this will be drilled with holes okay fine so it will be in double shear once it is in double shear we will calculate the capacity of the bolt in shear so this is the formulation again this is the numerical second numerical new numerical so for that you need to provide necessary information i have left it for you people you are supposed to write down uh, the clause number the page number okay at least once okay then you substitute the uh, essential values and what we assume that the threaded portion is intersecting all the planes correct and therefore ns value will be zero a and b you know how to calculate 0.0878 times the area of the bolt gamma mb value you can get it from the uh, table number 5 i suppose what is the table number is it 5 based on that you calculate the vdsb and while calculating vdsb for this case you need to take into account the beta pk value which we have calculated earlier that is this substitute that value this is actually the reduction factor okay uh, because we expect that the uh, because of the presence of that the overall strength capacity will get reduced because of the presence of the uh, packing plate arrangement right so this is the vdsb value you can evaluate i hope this is correct 81.47 it is correct then we will go ahead shall we theek hai then strength of the bolt in bearing again per pitch length value has to be evaluated okay i will let you know why so per pitch length distance as per that pdpb value this is 2.5 times k sub x b d into t f u by gamma and b you know how to calculate kb last time we have discussed about the uh, calculation part for that we need to find out e and p so unless and until some information is given you can assume e value over here i have assumed it as 1.5 times d not so it comes out to be 33 based on this d not value d not is actually the uh, the the diameter of the bolt is it diameter of the bolt d not or diameter of the hole what it is Hole. So, uh, as per D 
dh value how how much it should be what is the uh, diameter of the bolt given actually in our numerical it is 20 mm isn't it so whole diameter or the clearance how much uh, quantity i should add to the uh, bolt diameter 2 mm and from where do we get this from which table yes table number 19 correct exactly this p small p which is the pitch distance that has been uh, calculated using this formula 2.5 times d this comes out to be 50 mm right then you can calculate all the values and from that you will get minimum value to be 0.5 so we have decided the kb value then we need to find out t because out of all these things uh, t is the unknown value thickness now just look over here in this figure uh, we will consider both the sides that is if i consider this section on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will check which combination uh, will give me the least value for t and for that i will have to do the further calculation so over here as you can see the bearing stresses these bearing stresses and these bearing stresses they are in same direction theek hai so you are supposed to take the summation of these two that is the thickness associated to this bearing stress is 8 mm and over here again it is 8 mm so 8 plus 8 this is the summation it has to be compared with the bearing stresses on the other side and over here as you can see there is only uh, one area which is exposed to the bearing stress the dimension or the thickness associated to it is 18 mm correct so amongst this the the minimum of this two shall be 16 mm right but over here as you can see here what we assume that the packing plate thickness to be i mean not contributing to anything uh, any bearing stress uh, uh, you can say uh, distribution initially okay so we can assume we can neglect that and based on that as you can see over here these are the bearing stresses which are parallel to each other as you can see over here theek hai so how much it is 8 mm 8 mm the summation will be 8 plus 8 and over here as you can see this bearing stress is opposite to this and the dimension associated to this bearing stress is 10 mm so out of this naturally this 10 mm will be least 10 and 16 mm okay but you are supposed to uh, substitute the value of thickness in such a way that it should be least amongst both these sides and therefore minimum of both the thickness shall be 10 mm samajh gaye aapko how that 10 mm has come into picture <laughs> ठीक है, so I hope this is understood, right? Now, if I if I take the contribution of let's say packing plate also, let's say for example packing plate uh, also contributes to some bearing stresses. That's what I will assume. So for this, the stress distribution, you will agree. it will be something of this sort of huh? uh, sorry double parallel see this will be the upper plate which is of 8 mm thickness it will be uh, the bearing stresses will be acting like this then this 8 mm packing plate will experience bearing stresses over here 
this ten mm will be experiencing like this. This will be like this one. Like this. So over here you can see this is the contribution as such will be summation of this 8 and 10 mm okay and this will be 8 and 8 mm but since the packing plate is an additional thing okay the contribution is not included the bearing stresses variation is not included and therefore we say that this is the 10 mm thickness uh, minimum thickness that has to be considered while uh, identifying the VDPB value. Okay, so what is the VDPB equation? As you can see over here, you are supposed to also consider the gamma MB value, which you can get from the table 19. Substitute the value and find out the VDPB. I hope this VDPB value is 82 kilometers. You can verify. I hope this is okay. Okay. So one note I have written over here that for uh, safe design, the bearing strength should be greater than shear strength. Okay. And if somehow uh, the bearing stress comes to be less than the shearing strength, then you are supposed to vary the E and P values so that the VDPP value can be increased. We will see how this variation can be done. But uh, for initial knowledge, you can just remember this thing. Okay. But in this case, what do you observe? What is the shearing value? 81.47. And this is 82. Just safe. Just safe. Then you need to calculate the number of bolts. Okay, if the number of bolts uh, are to be found, then number of bolts can be easily calculated based on the load divided by the bolt strength value. And this bolt strength should be minimum of shear and bearing. Okay. Therefore, load, what is what is the factored load given? It is 750 kilometer divided by least value of bearing and shearing it is 81.47 now this the number of bolts they they are approximately 10 from our calculation it comes out to be 10 numbers and now just try to understand that we have calculated this 10 number of bolts for one side of the section which we have assumed either on the left hand side or right hand side but since we are uh, we have calculated it for one side that will be applicable for the other side also so 10 number of bolts and 10 number of bolts those are arranged in this manner see there there are two ways either you can arrange it uh, like this whatever arrangement i have shown over here or you can uh, arrange the number of bolts in one single line but will it be good if I, if I uh, you make use of a single line bolting system, what will be the disadvantage? What do you think? What may be the disadvantage? If, if I arrange these bolts like this, and we have assumed the pitch distance to be 2.5 times uh, the diameter of the bolt. That means 50 mm center to center distance I am using and I am uh, arranging the bolts in single line, 10 number of bolts. What do you think may be the disadvantage? Yes, anyone?
Yes. What do you think? Ha, ah, yes, yes, please. Uh, that means the length of the plate which you are using it will increase. That's what you want to say. Yes, sir. Or if that much more, then we So if there is area constant, in that case we will have to arrange it accordingly. Or if there is no constraint, even though the length of the plate in that case will increase because we are arranging 10 number of bolts with a spacing of 50 mm center to center. So the length, whatever length we are providing for the plate, it will be twice as what we have given over here. Don't you feel so? Almost twice. As a good right? Isn't it? So that way also we don't want uh, the things to get uneconomical. Over here, your pitch distance, yaha pe 50 mm hai, yaha pe bhi 50 mm rahega. So, the distance may be, the distance is quite small compared to this arrangement, right? So, in that case also, we can, so I have arranged it like this. I mean, this is one of the ways to arrange the uh, number of bolts. There are other arrangements which I will be discussing and based on these arrangements, what will be the effect on the efficiency part, whether uh, these connections with different type of arrangement of bolts, whether they may be uh, efficient or inefficient, that efficiency we need to check. Those problems or those numerical I will be discussing. But this is known as the, uh, what you can say, uh, bolt arrangement in the rows, in different rows. Mm -hmm. One one more arrangement uh, as shown over here in this figure, as you can see, this is known as staggered arrangement. Such kind of arrangements are also available. We will discuss it at length about this in the coming class. So, have you understood this thing? How the number of bolts are to be evaluated? and how they can be placed. Okay? Yes. Now the third point, that is the design strength due to rupture per pitch length. I will not discuss it right now because uh, there are different types of checks and different types of conditions based on which the complete design depends upon. This is just one of the portion which I have discussed. That is calculation of VDSB, calculation of VDPB, and based on these two parameters only, we have evaluated the number of bolts. But there are other few parameters which we will be studying uh, when we will go into the details of tension member. In that case, we will come to know that there are different conditions based on which the number of bolts may be varying. It may vary. For instance, we have calculated uh, the number of bolts here based on only two parameters. But there may there are few more depending on the behavior of this joint based on which the number of bolts may vary. Okay, so that thing I will be discussing in the coming lectures. I hope you have understood. Okay, this this is how the arrangement of the bolts can be done. And for this packing, uh, packing plate arrangement, we can again provide five number of bolts, uh, which which will lie in this manner. So these are additional bolts. You can uh, give the number of bolts or same diameter of the bolt in this manner, which will be a single, uh, which will be lying in the single line. Okay. Right. So this is the final arrangement. Right. Now we will see the application of this pitch per pitch length uh, distance in this numerical and there will be one more term which uh, I think you should concentrate on. Okay. I will be discussing it right now and uh, I mean I will be try I will try to make the things clear 
as far as this concept is concerned. So let us see what this uh, numerical is all about. What it says that 16 mm diameter bolts of grade 4.6 with cover plate 6 mm thick as shown in figures. Calculate the strength and efficiency of the joint for the double cover butt joints connections. The main plates are 8 mm thick, grade of the steel given as 410. So this is not a design numerical. Over here, we don't have to calculate the number of bolts or the dimension of the plate. Okay. Over here, we are just supposed to identify the efficiency of the joint. The thing which I was discussing, isn't it? Based on the uh, connection type. One, one disadvantage which I uh, just now uh, discussed that if I consider the connection of the bolts in single row or single column, the length of this member will increase. One thing. <coughs> Secondly, what will be the effect of such arrangement on its efficiency? That's what we need to understand. So you can uh, see over here. This is the single line arrangement of the bolt. And same bolt system is now provided in the double line or double row or column, whatever you can call it as double row. Okay. Number of bolts are same. Four number, four number. Okay. So now let us try to identify the efficiency. For that, we, uh, we need to take care of this per pitch length uh, concept. Okay, so based on our uh, earlier discussion, strength of the bolt per pitch length in double shear. Why in double shear? Because over here it is given as double cover butt joint. So I hope this is uh, understood to one and all. Double cover butt joint, the hour, and therefore it will be double shear. Yes? Is this okay? This will be like this. Double cover means this is, uh, let's say, top cover. And uh, these are the two plates which are to be connected. Like this, and sorry, the journey connected as and on the bottom again there is one plate. Are you getting me? Yes. So this is these are the bolts, bolted connections as you can see. Tick. So this this figure is related to this figure. For this, one more bolt has to be added like this. So this is correct. Now, strength of the bolt per pitch length in double shear. Easy to calculate. Okay. You are supposed to write down all this stuff. Strength of the bolt per pitch length is bearing. For bearing, you need to identify these values. Uh, now, see here, you are supposed to be careful because these values are given. They go. In distance that is mentioned, small e value, it is given as 30, 30 mm as you can see from this figure. Then pitch distance is also given 45 mm. So whatever pitch distance is given, that has to be used. Therefore, you can see over here in this formula, 45 mm is used. Am I right? Okay, as far as D naught is concerned what value of d not uh, i have written it as 18 mm can you verify this because this is 16 mm diameter bolt what what your uh, is code says what table number 19 says what is the range that has to be considered in order to have 2 mm clearance what is that range of the bolt diameter bolt
is it from 16 mm to 20 mm what does it say so the clearance for that is 2 mm so 18 mm over here whatever i have written is it okay theek hai so based on that kb value comes out to be 0.55 as per my calculation you can verify and then you can substitute the value of kb in this equation you need to find out small t value kya rahega small t value can anyone tell main plates are 8 mm thick where whereas cover plates are 6 mm thick these are cover plates this one and this one and these are the main plates 6 mm and 8 mm what will be the smallest t value i mean for this condition t minimum you can say well i mean okay anything else see this is 8 mm oh, sorry 6 mm this is 8 mm this is 6 mm so you need to understand the bearing stress condition let's say for 6 mm the bearing stresses are like this 8 mm ke liye ye direction rahega theek hai and 6 mm ke liye ye direction bottom plate theek hai so this will be 6 mm plus 6 mm and this is 8 mm barabar this is 8 mm what did i tell you the t should be minimum of t it should be t minimum value right so that means minimum of summation of 6 plus 6 and 8 plus 0 you can say because there is no uh, other bearing stress in the direction of 8 mm so 8 plus 0 so naturally it will be 8 mm got it ठीक है सो सब्स्टिट्यूट दैट टी वैल्यू एज 8 एम एम इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड प्लीज चेक whether it comes out to be 56.31 i am doubtful dekho i will continue the next lecture for 10 15 minutes because i think sumit sir is not there we can complete this numerical barabar hai kya value verify karo na what is small d value given in the numerical 6216 okay what is fu value yes fu fu ha 410 theek hai तो ये वैल्यू थोड़ी अलग आ रही है नहीं मेरी फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री वन है रेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज कैलकुलेट एंड प्लीज लेट मी नो Seven point seven two. So you please write down that value. Fifty seven point 
थ्री कर दो उसको किलोमीटर ठीक है किलोमीटर राइट तो those changes should be incorporated in the further further calculation if required right now the next thing is the net strength of the plate per pitch length this this has to be found out see what we are doing we are identifying the uh, strength of the or rather the efficiency of the uh, connection so in order to calculate the efficiency one has to identify the strength of the plate theek okay? hai because everything it revolves around the connection and this connection as you can see it is made up of plate as well as bolt we have identified the strength as far as the bolts are concerned right we will be now identifying the strength of the plate so that the efficiency can be calculated so uh, this is again uh, i will let you know that this is just the Uh, understanding part that how the efficiency can be calculated based on initial understanding because when you will uh, come across the tension member design or tension members in that case you will come across certain few more parameters which have to be considered in order to calculate efficiency or in order to design the things so whatever i am telling right now this these are just the uh, the the what you can say the primary things basic things from which the uh, number of bolts and the efficiency of the uh, joint it can be calculated so just try to understand okay later on it will be just application of uh, this information with some additional parameters so the net strength of the plate again per pitch length has to be evaluated for this case and over here now i will introduce this formula which is given on page number 32 clause 6.3.1 i will go back yes this is this <coughs> tdm is equal to 0.9 an into fu divided by gamma m1 okay so this is the clause 6.3 which is mentioned on your on the pay, uh, on in the is 800 2007 what it says the design strength in tension of the plate as governed by rupture of the net cross sectional area an at the holes is given by this formula okay where an is the net effective area of member given by this formula what is this formula small b minus n into dh plus summation of psi whole square divided by 4g whole bracket into t area is nothing but two dimensions i mean the, and i mean the multiplication of two dimensions so now let us try to understand this formula what it says an is equal to small b minus what are these uh, parameters small b and t these are width and thickness of the plate respectively okay width and thickness of the plate dh is the diameter of the bolt hole 2 mm in addition to the diameter of the hole in case directly punched holes ye ek additional information diya hai na g is the gauge length ps is the staggered pitch length uh, uh, between the line of the bolt holes n is the number of bolt holes in the critical section ye bahut important hai and i hope i i hope you people should be uh, concentrating when i am explaining this critical section part i is the subscript for summation of all the inclined legs theek okay? hai so this is the formula now just let me know concentrate 
do you have do you find any kind of staggeredness in this connection yes do you find any kind of staggeredness staggeredness in the sense is this connection in the zigzag pattern like this 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 no that means it is in a straight line correct now one minute just hold on just just a moment oh sorry this is clause 6 there it is clause 6 okay right so over here this term which is related to ps which is staggered pitch length staggered pitch length means the uh, arrangement which is shown over here for this arrangement the center to center distance between the bolt is represented by p sub x s this is staggered pitch length since in our connection there is no staggeredness this ps value will be zero okay if it is zero then this complete term will get eliminated isn't it and what remains is b minus nd in ndh into t are you getting me ठीक है सो दैट फॉर्मूला वॉट एवर इज गिवन इन दी आई एस कोड इट हैज नाउ कम डाउन टू इट हैज नाउ कम डाउन टू दिस वैल्यू दिस ए एन इज नाउ इक्वल टू बी माइनस एन इन टू डी एच इन टू टी बिकॉज देर इज नो स्टैगर्डनेस पी एस इज जीरो ठीक है now instead of b i have written small p i will now tell you why i have written small p and why we consider this per pitch length distance because over here as you can see end distance is mentioned but the edge distance is not given i mean this distance okay so we don't know the actual length of this complete plate okay we don't know we cannot anticipate so in case in such case where there is uh, no assured assurance of the dimension of the plate what we do we calculate the per pitch length value and it is very comfortable even if we calculate that per pitch length distance that can be easily used further for calculation purpose theek okay? hai so this is the per pitch length distance so what i have done instead of saying this complete b value i have termed it as let's say theek hai to ye per pitch length distance maine identify kar diya hai theek okay? hai this per pitch length distance and with respect to this i know how many number of bolts are lying okay and uh, what will be the uh, calculation Associated to that particular length, ठीक है? So fine. So this pitch distance is nothing but 45 mm. Why? Because the center to center distance between this uh, these two holes, uh, bolt holes, it is given as 45 mm. So I hope you have understood this small p value, whatever I have written at per pitch length distance. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Now next is this small n, and I I I require all uh, people to uh, concentrate. N as per IS code, what is n? 
एन इज नंबर ऑफ बोल्ट होल्स इन क्रिटिकल सेक्शन तो ये क्रिटिकल सेक्शन क्या होता है अभी देखो just try to understand what do we understand by the term critical section you see for this plate this plate will experience force in this direction let's say this will get pulled and what happens with this pull the number of bolts or the bolts which are exposed to the stresses direct stresses what they will be they will be uh, these number of bolts for this force do you agree yes and for this force these are the bolts which will be experiencing the stresses don't you feel so okay so as per as per the definition the bolts which are experiencing maximum stresses because of the external load which is applied on the connection those bolts become critical bolts understood so have you understood the term critical secondly if i if i uh, if i consider this connection hai na in this connection again these forces are connect uh, applied getting applied let's say in this direction so which will be out of this one row and second row which will be the critical bolts or uh, the uh, bolts which will be uh, experiencing the for stresses maximum stresses out of this row 1 and row 2 which bolts will experience maximum stresses with respect to this force row 1 it is very very clear because these are the bolts which are very near to the force which is getting applied it is as simple as that okay so the this becomes critical section for this connection and since there is only one row uh, for uh, uh, figure 1 therefore this will become the critical section so i hope you have understood the term critical section okay similarly if i if i consider uh, figure number 2 and in figure number 2 if i consider this force to be getting applied to so out of a and b which bolt will experience the maximum stresses a correct theek now next is wo kehta hai ki n is the number of n is the number of bolt holes in critical section so abhi mujhe batao in our case yahan pe how many number of bolts do you have in the critical section for case num- uh, for this figure number 1 और ठीक है बट नाउ यहां पे थोड़ा सा आपको कंसंट्रेट करना है सी इनिशियली व्हाट डिड आई टेल यू वी डोंट नो द कंप्लीट विड्थ ऑफ दिस प्लेट देयरफॉर व्हाट वी हैव डन वी हैव कंसीडर्ड पर पिच लेंथ डिस्टेंस ठीक है ऑल द कैलकुलेशंस आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पर पिच लेंथ वैल्यू okay uh, i am am i right so yes. based on this now tell me how many number of bolts should lie in the critical section so what we have done instead of considering this complete plate since we don't know the width what we have done we have considered only this much area so okay. in, so in this particular area how many number of bolts do you find to be lying in the critical section one one okay and therefore in our calculation as you can see this is 
per pitch length or pitch distance, whatever you can call it as. Small n is one instead of four. I hope you have understood this thing. Yes. DH is the diameter of the hole. T is the minimum thickness. That thickness you can identify right uh, uh, now. I think so. Okay, because this is six mm and uh, uh, eight mm thick plate. So six plus six minimum of six plus six and eight mm. That will come out to be eight mm. Okay. This rupture strength, okay, that has to be found out. And per pitch length distance is required to calculate if we don't know the exact dimension of the plate. Have you understood this thing? Okay. Based on this, this TDN is calculated, and then the uh, strength of solid plate per pitch length can be identified. Solid plate is required in order to calculate the efficiency because what is the uh, definition of efficiency? Net by gross. Don't you feel so? The ratio of net by gross. Okay. So we need to find out the gross value. So strength of the solid plate per pitch length. This is the formula 0 0.9. So this is extension of this formula. Only the thing instead of A N, now over here it will be capital A or the complete area. And remember, we are doing the calculation with respect to per pitch length distance. That means only this area. Are you getting me? So this complete area is 45 into minimum thickness of the plate. Okay. Always remember, as per IS code, this T will be the least value. Okay. Minimum. So fine. You substitute these values, whatever are given. And now you can see, when we are using this TDN equation, we have this gamma M1 value. And therefore, gamma M1 uh, has to be defined. Okay. So... This gamma M1 you can get from table number 12, uh, sorry, table, uh, table number uh, 5. Okay, table 5. And then you will calculate this value. Then strength of the joint per pitch length will be least of the strength per pitch length in shear bearing for bolts and that strength of the plate. Whatever values we have found out for VDSB, VDPB, and TDN, least amongst all, will govern the efficiency value. So, I, I think this value, how much it was? 57.73, I suppose. So, minimum value you can see. This is the least value out of all the three things. TDN, VDSB, and VDPB. This is the least value. You, you do the calculation accordingly and find out the efficiency value. Barabar hai? You can find out. Whatever may be the value, that will be the efficiency of the joint which is represent, represented in figure number one. Kitna ta wo efficiency, by the way? How much is the value? But again, 54 point something. Okay. Anyway, I hope this is understood. Now, with this understanding, let us try to uh, finish it off. For figure number two, this figure, wherein the bolts are arranged in this manner. Okay. When the bolts are arranged in two rows, the strength of the joint per pitch length on the basis of shear bearing. Shear ka kya rahega fir? Deekho, double shear hai. Okay? So, in double shear, the value will be twice of what uh, was discussed earlier. 
yes why why double why double value we have considered over here can anyone tell yes see we are doing calculation with respect to per pitch length distance okay and you can see over here in this pitch length how many number of bolts do you observe two there are two number of bolts and for this the shear will be again number of bolts into whatever shear force we have uh, bearing uh, whatever shear resistance or shear strength we have calculated for the case number 1 it will be multiplied by 2 because there are two number of bolts had there been three so we would have multiplied it by three so on okay so this is the per pitch length uh, distance for which we have calculated the shearing strength similarly the bearing strength will be twice do you agree okay now 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 we will come to the very important thing critical section which i have drawn for left hand side is 1 1 and for right hand side it is 2 2 we will concentrate on let's say left hand side and with respect to that we will try to identify the tdn value kya pe dekho tdn ka formula wahi hai same jo pehle humne discuss kiya okay staggered pitch to hai nahi yahan pe everything is in row and column straight forward thing so therefore uh, the equation is reduced to this form getting me pitch yes. pitch is 45 mm per pitch length distance that what we have understood dh we know t also we know what should be the value of n in this case can anyone tell me if you have understood the discussion whatever i have done what should be the value for small n as per the definition it is the number of bolts the uh, bolt holes which are lying in the critical section mm -hmm. the critical section agar main one one consider kar raha hu and what i am doing i am assuming per pitch length ye hai per pitch length isme क्रिटिकल सेक्शन ये है वन वन राइट फॉर दिस वन वन क्रिटिकल सेक्शन हाउ मेनी बोल्ट होल्स डू वी ऑब्जर्व टू बी लाइंग इन दैट पर पिच लेंथ डिस्टेंस इट इज वन नंबर आर यू गेटिंग मी सो देयर फॉर दिस एन वैल्यू ओवर हियर शैल नाउ बी वन ओके एंड देयर फॉर दिस कैलकुलेशन विल बी अकॉर्डिंग i hope you have got this thing critical section what is critical section and uh, how to identify the number of bolts in case the dimension of the plate is not given then efficiency of the joint can be easily evaluated ye jo solid plate ke ye hai rupture strength that we have discussed earlier that will be the same value this won't change okay what will change is the numerator part which will be minimum of vdsb vdpp and Now over here certainly the efficiency value has increased theek hai to dekho economy to ek part hai economical this won't be economical case number 1 why because uh, the length of the connection will increase Oh, secondly the efficiency is comparatively less okay with uh, the second connection fine so have you understood this thing the critical uh, section and all because we will be utilizing all this thing in in our further study right so i will stop over here and uh, we will meet in the next class and we will discuss few more numerical theek okay? hai thank you very much